you're very right. The Mount Royal Cougars men's basketball team swept Nate in a 2-0 series to advance to the ACAC Final Four Championship. The Cougars will head to Edmonton for the tournament at Concordia College. The men's volleyball team was looking to win their second straight ACAC championship this past weekend. The Cougars beat Grand Prairie in the quarterfinals, conquered State in the semis, but fell short to Grant McEwen for the championship. The Cougars men's volleyball team has won medals in the past four ACAC championships. This is their second silver. The Cougars women's hockey team hosted the Alberta College Athletic Conference Final Eight Championships at Kenyon Court this past weekend. Going into the tournament, the girls were ranked third. The women played in the bronze medal match, which ended in defeat by the GPRC Wolves. The Red Deer Queens won the ACAC championship, and the McAllen Griffins took silver. The women's hockey team now has a pair of upset playoff victories as they go into the ACAC championships this weekend. The sixth place Cougars beat the first place Trojans in the semifinals. It was an exhausting series as the three games all went into overtime. The ladies are now in the finals with the U of C Dinos. Over the regular season, the Dinos won three of the four games versus the Cougars, but from what they've shown so far, anything can happen in playoffs. In men's hockey, the, fir in men's hockey, the Cougars split the first two games of the semifinals with Nate. Home ice has been the advantage so far in the series, with the Oops winning the first game in Edmonton and the Cougars taking game two at Centennial Arena. The best of five series will continue tonight with game three in Edmonton. Game four will be back on home ice for the Cougars. Game time is 7 p.m. For all Cougar game times, check mtroyal.ca slash Cougars. Now let's move from college hockey to the NHL. The Calgary Flames were busy on the NHL's trade deadline. The biggest trade of the day being Ole Jokinen from Phoenix for Matthew Lombardier, Brandon Pruss, and, and a conditional first-round draft pick. The Flames also received a third-round draft pick in the deal. GM Daryl Sutter also brought back defenseman Jordan Leopold. He was sent to Calgary by the Colorado Avalanche for Lawrence Nicolette, prospect Ryan Wilson, and a second-round draft pick in 2009. These two additions should help the injured Flames out, as they will soon start their chase for the Stanley Cup in this year's playoffs. Flames' new additions made quite the splash in their debut games last night. The Flames were, on, were in Philadelphia to take on the Flyers. Center Ole Jokinen netted two goals in his first appearance with the Flames. The other new player defenseman Jordan Leopold scored one. Camilleri had one goal and two assists, while Conroy had one of each. The final score had the Flames sitting well ahead of the Flyers at 5-1. to one. Now for other games around the league, Phoenix defeated Boston 2-1. to one. The Leafs doubled the Capitals 2-1. to one. In a New York showdown, the Rangers were victorious over the Islanders 4-2. Ottawa prevailed over Edmonton 4-2. In Sidney Crosby's return, Pittsburgh beat Florida 4-1. The Predators took the Blue Jackets 4-2. Minnesota defeated San Jose in overtime 4-3. Also in overtime, the Kings beat the Stars 5-4. Curling will be sweeping into the Saddle Dome for this year's 2009 Tim Hortons Briar. The round robin starts Saturday, March 7th, and will continue until Thursday the 12th. The playoffs begin on Friday the 13th and will go through the weekend, with the final being Sunday. Games will be broadcast on TSN, but if you want to check it out in person, tickets are still available through Ticketmaster. This has been Connected Sports. I'm Leah Caldwell.